Hey team, JT Accessible here. Today we're going to work with logical reading order in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. Quick Robin to the sample document. We're joined today by special guest star Microsoft Edge web browser with read aloud feature. Take it away, Edge. This time it ain't just about being fast, it's about being accessible. Three ask any racer, any real racer. It don't matter if you win by an inch or a mile. Winning's winning. D.O.M. Toretto, The Fast and the Furious, 2001. Okay, let's go ahead and pause it right there. Notice how it is reading it, but it's jumping around in an order that's not really indicative of what the page and the author have in mind. So why is it doing that? Let's go ahead and go to Adobe Acrobat. We'll look at the exact same document here. Now, if we go to the order pane here on the left-hand side of the screen, you can also get there using the touch-up reading order tool on the right-hand side. That'll call up the reading order of the document, and these white squares in the left-hand corner are telling you where exactly it's going to go in order. So notice it went here first, then it jumped down here, and then it's going to go in this sequence. Now, the Acrobat and the other uh, programs are not going to tell you that that's wrong because th that, in fact, could be a particular reading order of a page. But that's not really the intent of the author of this particular document. So we're going to have to adjust it manually. Uh, one thing we could do is say if we want number six up here to be the first thing to be read, we just go ahead and click and drag it up to the top here in the order pane like so. And notice how everything adjusted based off of that change. Uh, and then you could go on, say, in the reading order panel, say if you want to simplify your life, just go ahead and put a big rectangle over there, hit text, and then we we'll just go in that order, read the photo last, if that's what made the most sense. Um, just one thing to be aware of when you're uh, working uh, in the reading order panel, sometimes you'll make a change, click and drag uh, the order and change it, and then all of a sudden you'll get a result like that, where everything will just disappear. It actually hasn't disappeared. Uh, what you need to be aware of is in the content panel, which is the actual ingredients uh, for the page, if you will. Um, something, uh, an order change, uh, it actually dragged another piece over these pieces. Now, the, in this scenario, the background is actually considered, even though it's just a black background, it's actually considered an ingredient uh, of the page. And it's actually, when it's in this position right here, the very last one, that's considered on top of all the other ingredients. So, need you, uh, so what you need to do is just move it back and see how now these elements are now considered on top of the black background. And then move it all the way back to get the full picture. Uh, so that's what you need to know about logical reading order. Uh, so you can make those adjustments when necessary.